Let's see. One moment. Multiple positions. We can go running back, wide receiver, tight end from the same team. Okay. And then we can go, so position. All right. So let's do that. All right. So we got that going on according to the players that we kind of ranked. Or looked at, give them a good. So I got that. Add a new rule. All right, so I got Ryan going on with those guys. Um, I'm going to add another. Let's see, create new rule. Add new rule. Okay, here we go. Whoops, no, that's it for that rule. We got to we gotta create new rule. Okay, so you go. Same thing, quarterback. Pick your quarterback, choose your poison. With the same thing going on, wide receiver, uh, running back, and tight end. You want to add that from the same team. All right. Create new one. Same thing. Breeze. Same thing. You can go wide receiver, running back, tight end from the same team. All right. Good. Oh, wait a minute. One player. In this, it depends on the matchup. Sometimes you can choose one player or two players. Let's just stay with one player for now. Okay, create new rule. Wait. Add new rule. Okay. So we got three there so far. Luck, Ryan, and Breeze. Let's do another one. Who else would he want? Oh, Watson. Heck yeah. With a running back, wide receiver, let's do just the wide receiver in this case. With one of his tight ends, that's fine. We could do roll with that. From the same team, position, one player, okay. That rule was added and create another rule. Okay. Another Juicy matchup we got to get here going on. Mayfield, we got to include him. Wide receiver, tight end from the same team. We could even do add running back in there. I don't mind that with Chubb or even Duke Johnson if we had to. Uh, maybe not, but, you know, Chubb is great. Let's see, one player of that. Okay, great. No, let's do two players because I really like the matchup and everything going on there. So we're going to do two for that one. Two players from his team because he spreads the ball around, gets different players from tutties. All right, create new rule. Add that one. Is he in there? Nope. Add that one. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Maybe do another one. One more. And round this out. One more quarterback we need. We got Allen, Cousins, Prescott, uh, Winston, Tannehill, Darnold. Got to be wise in choosing, man. Let's see. Oh, Roethlisberger. How can we not forget? Okay. So we can pick him with a wide receiver tight end and a running back. We can do two players. Keep in mind, Smith-Schuster out. Maybe we hit some running backs. So we hit a tight end for a tutty all in the same game from the same team. Great. Add that one in there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six potential um, stacks going on here. Luck. Ryan, Breeze, uh, from all these guys, as you can see here, it's summarized for you if you want to review it, two or one with the same team in those positions, wide receivers and tight ends, sometimes running backs included on those particular teams as they positively correlate with one another in these matchups. So let's now go ahead and get our lineups going. Optimize. And here's a one as an example, to, just to give you one. Um, Sam Darnold put in there with, I don't see any particular, for some reason, running back. I mean, wide receiver with him. Uh, interesting, but not really. Um, let's see what happened here. Here, at least Prescott got put in. We didn't choose Prescott particularly. I don't remember picking him, but he got stacked with Cooper, Elliott, and Kamara. 
That's a pretty good lineup. Coleman at flex, Miami defense. Heck yeah. Uh, you can roll with that for a tournament, see what happens. So I'm going to stop this now. And uh, oh, I wanted to show you guys the key if you want to stay on for hockey. All right. You go here. You go to your NHL domination. Uh, let's go to the research station. You go over here. Give me one second. Okay. Go to NHL here and draft dashboard. You can get this as well. Click on the link in the description for the draft dashboard and or the, um, yeah, the uh, DFS Army Research Station. You can get in on Slack chat. There's a lot of training there on all um, four major sports going on. So you, if you want to get in on that um, training and coaching support, highly recommend it. It shows you all the recent uh, injury status reports and stock changes and things going on. But what I mainly start with here in NHL is go to pretty similar to football actually at first. The studs, showing them. Uh, I've highlighted already previously uh, played players that I've watched that have been successful for me as obvious plays. Anderson at goalie, perhaps. Or Vetchkin. This is for the main eight-game slate, by the way. As you can look at these guys, um, Kucherov and fit many, as many of these guys into your lineup as possible. You just confirm their course starting goalies. You can go to like uh, dailyfaceoff.com and make sure you look at the starting goalies for the day. Make sure in the cash game these are starting goalies as you can just get some... Uh, various goalies played in the, in a particular game. So uh, all these guys are really good. Um, looking at a few games here, a uh, few important outliers. Minutes played here shown in this column, uh, MIN. For example, um, Kucherov, Nikita, is, has played 24, 19, and 21 minutes. So we're going to make sure the minutes are good. You also want to head over to that daily face-off or the um, site. Actually, it's here in DFS Army as well. Uh, let's see, the research station, their lines, so you can go to skaters, they show you here the lines right here, for example, McDavid was on a number one, and number, number one power play line and uh, main line, or uh, even line, okay, Austin Matthews, however, for the uh, Toronto team is on the second line, however, with the first power play, so right now he's playing in the second line, so that uh, provides you an idea. Maybe you want to play the second line of Toronto with a great um, player with upside such as Matt Austin Matthews versus the Rangers here opposing goalie Lundqvist. And as you can see here, there's a lot of greens going on here, similar to football in value and things like shot percentage, uh, implied scoring chance. That's important as well. Or if you keep rolling over here, uh, percentage of the team scoring uh, I didn't show that in football, but it's great. You can hang on for that to see this. That's important in football. Um, you actually get that if you um, went over to football real quick. Well, I'll hate to go back to it, but I have to. Um, right over here, go to any player and just look at what percentage of, that he's receiving of the teams, you know, counting on the team's um, snap percentage that's shown over here to the right as well. But the touch percentage, 13%, team touches of the, you know, total. Uh, or compared to Thielen, he gets a high percentage, 16%. So that's pretty high uh, number right there. Ezekiel Elliott obviously is going to be through the roof, 44% touch percentage, okay? If you want to see that compared to what kind of offense they run and play. So back to NHL real quick. Real quick, the research station, you know, percentage of scoring, the more greener it is, the better. Uh, Matthews is good, but you can get better with Connor McDavid, Pasternak from Boston, and guys like that. You want to look at um, shots per game. It's very important for a safe floor right here. So these guys also give you a real nice safe floor. McKinnon, Jack Eichel, Cam Atkinson has always had a reasonable price and value on FanDuel. Cam Atkinson, uh, Alice Ovechkin, um, who plays for Ottawa. I'm sorry. Ovechkin plays for um, Washington. Yeah, but they're playing Ottawa versus the opposing uh, goalie, Craig Anderson. That's a good matchup. 
In fact, for Washington today, as last night they didn't, um, you know, when you watch recent games and stuff in hockey, last night they didn't have a high-scoring game. I, I believe they would come back out here versus Ottawa. And this is a home game, I believe, of Etchkin, no, at Ottawa. So they're on a road, uh, back-to-back roads. So actually you can um, even, um, oppose what I say, phase them out uh, here for this game if you want. It might still be highly played. And then um, also importantly here to uh, look at, um, I like to go here to sports line, and maybe uh, a lot of people use this or not. I don't know. You can pay for ten dollars a month of premium package. You can go to fantasy. You can go to DFS values. Okay, and then for um, hockey. Okay, it's already on NHL. Great. <laughs> so you can go to. It lays it out for you. Great value in Anderson as I looked at. Great value in these guys with the goalies as long as they start. The Smith for Pittsburgh at Carolina. So you can arrange this according to, let's say, the center position. Great value in McKinnon. If you can fit him into your lineup, this is high priced. Austin Matthews, uh, Scheifele, Tavares, and it goes into price range. So, for example, 7K, that's any, anywhere from 7K to 7,900. You can get Eichel, Kutenzo for Washington. If you do want to, if you didn't want to do that, I don't. Probably but Ajo and Peterson at those positions. So you can go position, position, breakdown, and make sure you're getting good value for every player you're getting into your cash or even tournament lineups. So you want to go basically back over to NHL and optimize the same. Okay, you go to lineup optimizer and see what you get for a good, hopefully you get a good favorable matchup. Just make your adjustments similar to football. Um, it's giving us here for the main slate, Blake Wheeler, Case, Connor Brown for Toronto. He, if he plays in the second line, confirm it. Great with uh, Matthews, as is giving you some guys that uh, I like to do two two at least two two stacks. That's two times two in the NHL to get some good guys with that. Maybe get an assist along with a guy who scores a gore, sc scores a goal on the same team. Grabauer played last night. Uh, back to back, I like to go with somebody else, such as if we fit Anderson in here. Let's lock him in. Uh, arrange this a little bit here. Maybe we get um, confirm some different guys before the the um, the face off at 7 p.m. Um, if you want to lock him in or randomize different guys, I like to lock these guys in that I like, such as Wheeler, such as Case, good value, such as Connor Brown, just confirming you know that he does play with Matthews, and that's. You know, perhaps a great uh, way to go just, just to get that exposure to him, even though if he's not in the lineup, that's fine. Lance Gog I like a lot. Kadri for Toronto. Uh, he might be on the third line. Just want to check that out. But if he even if he plays and maybe they get some good time playing the Rangers, put the third line in there. You know, playing the Rangers as maybe not such a good team. They have a, a good high over under. Uh, we, as we could see here, we could confirm that. I like to do that here over at the... Um, Picks for let's see NHL. Let's see what we think might happen on an NHL game nightly or daily. As you can see here, uh, the actual computer and expert picks has not come out yet, but it will probably later on. As as long as they go go about it on Saturday, I would think. Um, but let's see here, it's not showing. But it's just showing the over under and at least the uh, the regular Vegas totals. So for example here, uh, Toronto is favored to six and a half total. Great, as a two sixty three uh, line favorite. So great, Toronto. It's looking like that's potential that you can do even in your cash lineups for the day. So it's looking like a pretty good. You got Tavares in there as well. Morgan Riley from Toronto. A lot of guys from Toronto. Um, Goligowski from Arizona versus Colorado. That's fine. That's fine. They're playing the. Um, Colorado Avalanche on the back to back, back to back. So I like this lineup really, and it doesn't really quite fit though. It's fifty six six hundred. Um, so we can make an adjustment here. We got to take out somebody that's more expensive, such as a defenseman, and put somebody else in there that I already previously watched based on the data I talked about. You know, minutes played, lines, um, things like that, percentage of the team scoring. Uh, you know, on the stud list. Um, so we could play somebody like Edler, and there we got it. Bam. Um, 200 left over. That's a good lineup. I would go with something like that as long as, like I say, I'm confirming the lines perhaps for 
um, mix and match some of the Toronto.